hi everybody welcome back to our youtube channel yes is our channel content creation with isabella this is where we talk all things content from the perspective of business so biz the business of content creation it is today i want us to talk about creating a business model creating a vision map creating a roadmap creating a blueprint for your online business and your online engagement I want us to borrow a, a, a leaf from all these, you know, blue chip companies, all these successful organizations, all these successful companies we see out there, whether it's Safaricom, whether it's Apple, whether it's Coca-Cola, all these companies, they all have something synonymous to them. They all, all have a clear blueprint towards their activities. They are not random about their activities. Everything is well thought through. And therefore, I want to challenge you and myself. Uh, is our online engagement, our online businesses well thought through. Now doing well for your online business means giving it a well thought through plan. Now let me lay a disclaimer. I'm not saying you must know exactly, you know, we must have every puzzle filled up. Clarity comes with time. So some things, some of the gaps you're experiencing now in your brand, you will fill them up as you go along. But it's important for you to, to have the right foundation. That's the gist of a blueprint. It's just to have the right foundation, something to fall back on, something to always look at. Are we on track? Are we missing something? Are we, are we going to add something? In the absence of a blueprint, you will not know whether you're on track. You will not know whether you're achieving your goals and your objectives. And most importantly, it will be very difficult for you to scale because you don't know how you're scaling. There is no clarity in how you want to get things done. So let's borrow a leaf from these big companies. Let's, let's apply them to our individual online engagement. So I have prepared a two-part series for you. So dive in into part, part A or part one today. The next video has part two. After you do that, please engage with me. I'd like to know if this blueprint makes sense to you, if it works for your business, if it's, it's, if it's simple enough for you um, to follow through, let me know. I'd like to hear your comments. I'd like to engage with you. And most importantly, I'd like to hear of the milestones that you're making that in one year's time from today, I'd like to hear the testimonials because for sure, if you follow a certain path, tried and tested, definitely you will get the desired outcome or the desired results that you want. So we've begun the journey. Take, the, take your notes, use a template and apply to your online business and keep me engaged. All right. So I'll leave you to do that. I'll leave you to have your time to create your own blueprint, your own strategies, your own roadmap, your own vision map. And then I'll see you in the next video. So let's dive in on how to create a business model for your online business and engagement, right? So number one important thing is we are looking at a vision map. We are looking at a roadmap. We're looking at a blueprint for your online engagement to gain clarity as you go along. Clarity comes with time, but you have to create that foundation. You have to create that environment for clarity to come through. So having a vision map, a roadmap, a blueprint is one sure way of, you know, you're putting your imagination to paper, you're putting your thoughts to paper, you're putting your, that vision that you have, you're putting it in, on paper. You, you're already seeing how many followers you, you want. You're, you're seeing yourself getting that silver button. You're seeing yourself getting that gold button, you know. You're seeing yourself prospecting to clients who will respond positively. You're seeing yourself collaborating with other content creators or with other people in the same niche, other people in the same business online. That's what I'm talking about. Put all these things down. And that is what we call a clear blueprint. And why is this important? Number one, this is important because it helps you to be accountable to what you have committed to. Without a blueprint, without that clear roadmap, then you today you may decide to post next week you decide i will not post tomorrow you decide i will prospect to one person then one month later six months later you again come back and say you want to prospect no 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 it's important when you have that blueprint you are accountable to yourself so if you say you're going to prospect to five potential clients you do exactly that if you say you're going to post um thrice a week four times a week, five, time, five times a week, a roadmap, a blueprint 
helps you to stay on that commitment. And then number two, a blueprint helps you to know your target market clearly, to understand them and to know how to meet their needs. When you're clear about your products and your services, you're clear about your value propositions, you're clear about your selling proposition, you're clear about your unique, the uniqueness you're, you're bringing to the table. And then you understand who, who are these people you want to serve? And then how do you want to serve them? What are their needs? What are people searching for online? What are people looking for? What are people asking about? What are the pain points that people are facing? Now, once you understand that, then you're able to customize your products and services to meet the needs of these people who are seeking and searching. That's the importance of a blueprint. Number three, a blueprint helps you know what kind of resources you need. If you say you're going to prospect to five potential clients a week, then that talk tells you about resources, your time resource. How much time are you going to dedicate to do this? If your blueprint says you're, you're, you're going to you know, advertise, then your financial resource would be then how much money do I need to set aside every single month or every week to do this? You understand? If it's in terms of your intellect, your, the knowledge and the expertise you have, you have to look at what, what, how knowledgeable are you about a subject matter? How knowledgeable are you about what you're offering? And are there gaps? If there are gaps, then you know you need to build capacity in that area. So that's very important. And a blueprint is one way, it, it, one way to know how to you map out your resources. Number four, a blueprint is important because it helps you know the right platforms for the kind of content that you're putting out. Sometimes we may be in multiple platforms because the platforms are available or, or because we join these platforms um, out of a social connection. But now you're in this for business. You want to make business sense out of your engagement. You want to make business sense out of your content. You want to divide your business, um, have it offline at the same time, have it online. So it's important to know which platform suits you well. What does LinkedIn have to offer for your business? What does Facebook has to offer for your business? What does YouTube have to offer for your business? What does Instagram have to offer for your business? That's what I'm talking about. Now, you can only experiment if you don't understand the dynamics on the terrain of these um, specific platforms. You can only experiment. Put out your content in all these um platforms and then monitor see the kind of engagement see the kind of feedback that will inform how what uh, that will inform you to know exactly which platform works best which where your content is faring best yeah so that's important and then number five it's important to measure outcomes a well-defined plan helps you gauge how much you're delivering on your goals without measuring outcomes you will not know whether you're satisfying um, a market or the, your target market, without measuring outcomes, you will not be able to know what gaps you need to fill. Without measuring outcomes, you'll not be able to have that competitive advantage, you know. Without measuring outcomes, you wouldn't know which strategy to put in place for your operations, for your sales and marketing, for your customer relations, you wouldn't know. But if you have if you measure your outcomes, having that well-defined plan, it, you definitely will be able to know how to deliver on your goals. So a blueprint is one way to help you to get there. And then number five, a blueprint is a gateway for development of new products. So initially you have this imagination, you want to achieve this, you want to offer these products and services or your target market uh, from the research you've done requires ABCD. So as you go formulating content, as you go offering these services, as you continue um, creating brand visibility, as you continue engaging with your clients, as you continue engaging with your followers, you realize you're growing, you're expanding. And with that growth comes with greater opportunities. So if you started offering one or two products, you realize there are more digital products coming up by the day because of the demands 
because you're also growing, your brand is growing, so you're developing more. So initially, you may not have thought through these products, but as time goes and as the growth comes about, then automatically new products will spring up. So that's the benefit and the advantage of having a blueprint. And then finally, a blueprint helps you to position your brand to profit. Having a clear roadmap will help you know, okay, I want to make X amount of money um, within this duration. What do I need to do to get there? Is it to sell directly? So you list down, you say, I'm going to sell directly. I'm going to do affiliate marketing. I am going to seek out brand partnerships. I am going, you know, so you start listing down every opportunity that your brand affords you to make money or to generate an income. So that's the benefit of having a blueprint, okay? Now, it's important again to have a structure so that you know what you're working with. So today I'm just going to mention um, the structure and then part two of this video, I'm going to dive deeper and deeper into the details of each structure. Talk about products and services. We're going to talk about engagement. We're going to talk about sales and marketing strategy. We're going to talk about resources again. We're going to talk about collaborations and partnerships, and we're going to talk about a financial model. If you can just pick this and then now for each box, we are going to, we're going to create a scenario so that you have a good understanding Whichever niche you are in, if you adapt this, um, this structure, it will help you have clarity even, um, it, and the structure is not custom stone. You can always um, flex on it. You can always, you know, you know, add more things that will work for you. This is just something, this is a foundation, this is just a stepping stone for you to be able to uh, plug into and put your thoughts together and just have that clarity of mind and then as as you get clarity of mind then the structure can you can outgrow this structure and create your own structure as long as it's working for your business so part two of this video i am going to go deeper into each and every structure however it's not limited to this you can create your own i've just given you a template okay now it's important that you know that your platform or your presence on social media, think of it as a home. And so create an atmosphere, guests are coming in, the people following you, whether it's uh, you know potential clients, whether it's your regular uh, customers, whether it's followers from all over the world, people who you have never met, you have never engaged in, the fact that they are following you, it means they are like guests coming to your home. So the question is, how do you want to host this guest? How do you want them to feel? What kind of menu have you prepared for them? What kind of, you know, a host are you? So think about your platform, think about your online presence as a home, and then give it a look and a feel. So for example, visualize, how do I want my platforms to feel like when people come into my Facebook account, into my YouTube account, into my Instagram account, whichever social network you are on, when, when people come to my website, how do I want them to feel? What do I want them to see? So it's very important. So the branding is very important. The branding of your uh, brand or your products or your services online, the outlook, what kind of colors are you using? What is your brand voice? What is your style? What's your brand style? Very important. And then um, is your brand entertaining? Is it informative? Is it inspirational? You have to define. You cannot be all over with everything. People are known for something, okay? Then how many followers do you want to reach how many people do you want to reach and to what extent? Do you just want to reach your local market? Do you want to reach a global market? How many followers do you want to have by the end of the year in six months time, in one year's time? Are you targeting to get the silver button? Are you targeting to get a gold button? Are you targeting to, you know, you must think through how many followers. And if I want these followers um, within this duration, why do I want those followers within that 
that duration, there has to be a reason and a purpose tagged to it, all right? Then the type of content, what kind of content am I putting out? Constantly uh, do a research, constantly do a survey, do a poll on your platforms to know what people resonate with. You can put out the content you want, you think your target market wants from at the beginning, but as you go along, seek to find out what kind of content do they really resonate with. And it's for you to keep constantly doing your research for you to know that. And then state the kind of opportunities you seek after. You, a blueprint requires you to indicate the kind of opportunities you're looking for. Whichever niche you are in, there are many opportunities. So what kind of opportunities are you seeking after? Knowing the kind of opportunities uh, you seek after will help you position yourself appropriately. You will tag the appropriate people. You will tag the appropriate companies or organizations. You will follow their pages. You will keep yourself updated with the trends within the opportunities you're seeking. So it's very, very important. Collaborations. Who do you want to collaborate with? It is said that you go further when you partner with people, when you collaborate with other people. Don't be a loner. Number one, you get to learn more. Number two, you your reach grows further because when you collaborate, it means the people from other platforms who who have never come or known about your online presence will get to know you because of a collaboration, because of a partnership. So it's very important that you get into partnerships. It's very important that you collaborate with other people in your niche. It's very important that you seek out the right people. And then build a network. Build a network. We have groups, whether it's Facebook, whether it's uh, LinkedIn, we have groups. Get into those groups. Um, interact with people. Engage with people. Don't be a loner. Don't say, this is my thing and, and that's it. No. Get into a network. Build families. Build masterminds. Build a circle. You can build your own or you can get into one and participate effectively, okay? And then as we come to a close, I want to give you this formula. Every day you go on social media, there are four things you must determine to do. You may do the four, you may do two of this, you may do one of this, but at least do, some, do one of this. Number one, communicate your brand, communicate your vision. Let people know you exist. Let people know your brand exists and this is what your brand offers. And then connect with people. Don't just wait and complain that people are not connecting with you. People are not following your page. Are you connecting with others? Are you following people's page? Are you commenting? Are you interacting with people's posts and engage? You know, it's very important that you connect, connect with other people. Number three, engage. Don't just post and go. You have to post and then when people like your stuff, when people um, comment, you know, when people send you DMs, you need to respond. You need to answer inquiries. Uh, when people come and you find there are people who are constantly, you know, we talked about early adapters, when people are constantly, you know, when you put out a post, there are people who will support that post. Engage with them, even on their pages. Go and also support them on their pages because they are loyal to support your, your, your content. So it's important that you also support their content. So engagement is very, very important. And then generate an income because we're talking about the business of content creation. Look out for opportunities to make, make an income for yourself out of your content. Don't just um, spend um, like don't just spend so many hours online and you're not thinking of ways of generating an, an income for yourself. I, I, I always say when you get online, however many hours you're going to spend online, determine to be an asset to yourself, not a liability. Because many people right now, the digital landscape is growing by the day. And many people, majority of the people who are in the online space now are making business sense out of their content. So do yourself a favor. When you go online any day, think of ways, how can I become an asset to myself, not a liability. Liability is when you spend hours online and you don't communicate your brand 
you don't connect with people, you don't even think of how to convert your content. You don't think about converting and making your effort, you know, pay, pay you back. So it's important that you think of how you can generate an income. And that is where the structure comes in. And I'll, and I'll be talking to details on the structure in part two of this video. So thank you so much for following through with part one. If you have any questions, let's continue engaging. You can ask me any question as we wait for part, part two where we're going to now delve deeper into what I've discussed. Now we're going to create scenarios and I will take you slowly and, you know, step by step until you understand how to create a business model for your own business and for your online engagement. So thank you for watching and following through with this uh, video on this part one. So see you in the next video. I'll put it up um, next I'm looking out for your engagement. I'm looking out for your feedback. Let me know if this has been helpful. All right, so see you in part two.